Hey everyone, welcome to lesson 13 of how to make iPhone apps with no programming experience. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to work with the images that we added to our asset library. If you remember back in lesson 6, we added all of these great images into our asset library and these names that you see here, card 2, 3, 4, and so on, Jack, King, Queen, these are the names that we are going to use to refer to these images. And as I mentioned before, there are three different sizes for each image and Xcode is going to choose the appropriate image to use depending on what sort of screen the user is using on their device. So far we have added a couple of the images into uh, our storyboard here and we saw how to do that by simply selecting the element and then going over to the right hand side inspector pane let me just go back into the standard editor uh, so there's a little more space. So for example, we selected an image view that we added to the storyboard and then we were able to set the image property to the back image asset, as you can see here. Well, if you remember, we added IB outlets for these two image views. I'm going to show you how you can manipulate this image view to show a different image through Swift code because we're going to need to do that when the user taps on the deal button we're going to want to programmatically randomize uh, the cards and then display the appropriate image in this UI image these two right here okay so let's quickly jump into the view controller and take a look at what sort of IB outlet properties we added before so first we added this one left image view and as the name states this is the image view on the left hand side. And then the one above it, right image view, is the one on the right hand side. So we also hooked up this function right here, deal tapped, to fire whenever the deal button is tapped on by the user. So here, if we wanted to uh, set the image for, let's say, the left image view, we can refer to that property by name. So left image view. And so what do we set in order to set a new image? Well, the image view has an image property that we can set and it accepts a type of UI image object as it says here. So let's set that equals. Remember, we use the equals sign to assign something into the left hand side. OK, so what is a UI image object? Let's go into the UI kit reference because the UI image is one of those classes that comes with the UI kit framework. If you search for UI image, you can see here that it's an object that manages image data in your app. We're going to have to create a new UI image object and then somehow set it to point to um, the image in our asset library. So clicking into this class, let's take a quick read here. And here, there's a section on creating image objects. And you can see here that there's an initializer method where you can pass in a name. So, okay, let's do that. And here's also some sample code. You can see here that they create a UI image and they can specify the image to initialize that object with. We're going to do just that. We're going to create a new image, uh, UI image object. And while we could just create an object like this and pass it into the image property of the image view, this wouldn't really display anything because this UI image object is not really set to an image. It's not really initialized to an image. There is a different method that we can use or initializer function. That one right there named and then we can pass in a string, uh, which is going to be the name of the image asset. So let's just say we're going to set it to card 10. Okay, so let's just type that in right there. And let's do the same thing for the right image view. Image property equals UI image. And we're going to use this one named Let's set this one to Jack. Okay, so let's give this a run by pressing Command R. 
it's going to build our project and it's going to launch the simulator and display our app there. All right, so there's our app. I'm going to tap on the deal button. And actually that generated a crash in our app. So this is a good opportunity to, um, to troubleshoot this. So if I look at the error message down here, it said that unexpectedly found nil while unwrapping an optional value. So nil means it's an empty value. And this is referring to this line of code right here, highlighted right image view dot image. I have a idea of what's wrong. If you take a look at um, this line of code up here, this IB outlet property, you notice how all of the other lines have these grayed in circles while this top one right image view has a empty circle. And that's exactly the, you know, the line of code that's failing right here. So to me, that tells me that for some reason, the right image view out IB outlet is not connected to the image view element in our storyboard. So let's go ahead and stop our project. We can verify that very quickly. Just going to the storyboard. Uh, this is the right image view. I'm going to right click this or you can even click uh, control left click. Yep. If you don't have a two button mouse and you can get the same menu to pop up. Yeah. Notice that there are no connections for this image view, right? Um, for this guy, if I do that, you can see left image view. Um, it's connected to this view controller. If I pull it out a bit, see it's connected to view controller. So how are we going to fix that? Well, for the right image view, let's pop open this menu. Let's create a new referencing outlet. Drag this guy either to this yellow dot or circle here or to the view controller here. And it's going to pop up all of the uh, IB outlet properties that you can connect that element to. Now I'm going to connect it to right image view. Remember that's the one that uh, it's supposed to be connected to. Okay. So there we go. Now, when I right click on this guy, I'll make sure you're selecting the image view. If I right click on it, I can see that the right image view is connected to the view. Uh, it's connected to this uh, right image view IB outlet property. Going back to view controller, now you can see that the circle is grayed in. Okay, so if you ever um, come across a crash and you see an error like this, um, it means that it's trying to use something, it's trying to use that property, um, but it unexpectedly found that it was empty. Rightly so, because right image view, this property wasn't actually connected to the element. So when it tried to use this, it was empty. Now let's press command R and run the project and try this again. All right, here we go. So tapping the deal button this time, right? It goes into our deal tapped method and it executes these two lines of code, which changes the images uh, of our two image views. And that's an example of how you can manipulate the elements in your storyboard through Swift code. In the following lesson, we're going to learn how to randomize numbers. You know, right now when we tap deal, it's always going to be 10 and Jack because that's what we've set it to here. We want to randomize that and set the different images depending on the random numbers that we generate. All right. So thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful to uh, see how to debug that error and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.